So I got involved with parents as teachers um, unexpectedly um, when my daughter was four months old when I unexpectedly became a single mom. Me and my boyfriend at the time were not, I mean we were still together, but I had to remove myself from his um, drug addiction in order just to be the best version of me for my daughter. No one ever dreams of having a child and then being, and then doing it by yourself. I felt really bad during my daughter's first few months because again, I was with my boyfriend through his addiction and trying to battle this controlling him and then while she, you know, controlling him while she's sleeping or while she's not looking, trying to keep this face of calmness and then trying to control him, you know, whenever I could. When I got here, I didn't know how to be a mom. I was very depressed when I made that split second decision to not go back to my home with my boyfriend and we weren't gonna have like this, you know, like together family anymore. I was making a decision, it's, that's hard to make that decision to break apart the family for the sake of her having the best childhood I could give her. I don't have to feel like we're different and I can make this normal. And when I met Jen for the first time, she asked me a whole bunch of questions. She did that survey and she said, oh good. And a lot of the things she said was like, okay, good, good, good. She's on track, she's on track. And I'm just like, thank God, you know what I mean? Cause I just, I felt like, and I think kids, babies are so in tune with everything. Like I think they're underestimated. I think she can sense energy. I think she can sense stress. I think she can sense emotional turmoil. And I thought that, oh my God, my first, you know, her first couple months when it was me and her dad together, she probably felt just the agony that I was going through, the depression, the everything. And then of course, you know, I, I separate myself from him. I'm living in my parents' home. Things are just unraveling. At least to me at the time, they felt like they were unraveling, but it was my first steps to finally get things together. They weren't unraveling. They were coming back together, and I was finally taking control of my life again. I want to say I met Jen sometime the next month in January, and she's, again, she's walked this very crazy, messed up path of dealing with a father and addiction, trying to find myself again, trying to get myself together. So it gave me, I mean, this program has given me a lot of hope. Long story short, this program has turned into, I thought it was a whole bunch of activities to kind of, you know, it, it is a support system between her and I. She, it's a really good relationship. I'm, I'm thankful to have to have a relationship the way I have with Jen and I can text her and I can, you know, I can lean on her. The program has literally been with me since I got here, which has been a total crazy journey because I've been, you know, trying to, again, get myself back together from this very traumatic experience. Where would I be without it? I think I'd still be in the same place, but just get there slower. I, I know I'm a good mom. You know, I know I'm doing my best. You know, and that's what all, that's all you can really do. And I'm, I'm crazy about getting resources and and why I feel like everybody should have parents as teachers. I don't care how good of a parent you are. It's awesome to just have someone come by and either validate you or help you or give you another perspective. 